I just found this poor Palais abandoned outside. Well, let's try and save it. It mainly just looks really dehydrated, so I'm going to put it in some water and see if that helps. You can also see that there is scale on here, so I'm going to really spray it down with some white oil and keep it away from my other plants. If giving it a big old drink doesn't help, then I am going to chop it about here and prep it. Before I give it any water though, I'm going to spray it down with white oil. I find this the most effective with all pests, so I'm spraying the leaves, the soil and the pot. Pelés don't like having wet leaves though, so it may not bounce back from this. After absolutely covering it in white oil, I left it in this bowl for about two hours, and although the leaves did perk up, not enough for me to know that it would survive. So of course, if you know me, you know that I have to chop. I removed the whole top section and then removed any leaves that looked particularly bad or that had scale on them. Ordinarily, you can propagate players via leaf cutting, but seeing as this one had scale and also damp leaves already, it just wasn't worth the effort. Here is a close-up of what the scale pest looks like. They can often be missed or mistaken for leaf damage. They're usually white or brown and lucky are easy to remove. After the big chop, the original plant started producing new growth pretty quickly. This is a week later and you can see all these little buds. I find most plants will thrive once you have removed excess foliage. And this palea is no different. This plant is known as the friendship plant because it produces so many of its own pups that you can easily give them away. Each of these groups of leaves can turn into their own plant, and that is exactly what I've done. You can leave them on the mother plant, but as this one had been through it, I decided to water propagate instead. I much prefer water propagation over soil propagation because you can watch what is happening the whole time. This is very satisfying, and it's also a great way to display your cuttings. I tend to repurpose any cute bottles or jars I've received product in. I also always have my eye out for cute vessels in thrift stores. Each of these water propagations rooted fairly quickly. As a general rule with any water propagation, I wait until the roots have grown at least two inches long and until they have first and secondary roots before I transfer to soil. I find the plant has a better chance of adapting once the roots are longer. After a few months, the plant had already outgrown its pot, so I upsized. You can see there are new plant pups growing. She is really living up to the friendship plant name. This is such an easy plant to repot. And because I am transferring it from a pot with drainage holes to one without, I'm going to put it in a nursery pot first. Before this, I'm going to remove some of the old soil. I'm also placing a mesh round in the bottom of my grower's pot. This is such a great hack to stop soil falling out the bottom of your planter, both when repotting and also when watering. I often get asked why soil doesn't run out the bottom of my plants when I bottom water, and this is why. I've added a small amount of soil to the bottom of the pot, put in my palea, and now I'm adding more soil around the outside. As I said at the start, these plants don't like having wet leaves, and usually I only bottom water them. As this is a repot though, I'm going from the top. This will help with soil distribution and also ensure that the plant doesn't go into shock from moving vessels and then partially being wet. And that's it. This is how you rescue a Chinese money plant. And also a little bonus of how to repot one. For basic care, I water weekly, fertilize monthly. She's in a sunny room but doesn't get any direct sunlight on her leaves. If you're wondering what has happened to the top of the plant that I cut off originally, don't worry, she didn't go in the bin. She is now a hydro plant. I found that roots grew the whole way along the stem when I kept her in water. I don't have a long-term plan for her, but she looks pretty cute for now.